<laughs> we so lost. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes you gotta just laugh at it because. Well, we supposed to be lost. Yeah, we the lost anyway. I'm not gonna get too into that. We supposed to be lost. Yeah, you gotta be lost so you can be found. Exactly. But former Atlanta. What's the song? And it's funny how it goes right into this story. It's just just nice little segue See, yeah. to this story. Yeah. Why are we lost? But anyway, former Atlanta uh, fire chief suggests slavery was part of God's plan for America. I'm gonna ask y'all a question. Now, when people saw this, they go, oh, you sound to say we deserve slavery or we we were put into slavery to benefit America. And you go, well, yeah, because it happened and that's how it went. But y'all ever, know, y'all ever walk around publicly outside when you go to work, when you're out publicly, you ever walk around and look at some of these <laughs> some of these people and go, these the people that's in charge? You ever just stop and think about the people who are in charge and just look at them and go, you ain't built for this, really. What is going on where you're in charge? Because everybody knows it's not right. Everybody look around. Everybody confused about what's going on. But when you look at some of these people sometimes, you know things are out of order. It's not the way it's supposed to be. But, you know, let me just read. Well, slavery it was a part of God's It happened. Plan. Well, I, <laughs> Nothing that the Most High does is by accident. It, it's, it was... was what was supposed to happen. Well, this is, I always say, when you look at America, you got to view America through the eyes of a prison. This is a prison because it, it doesn't affect anybody as negatively as it does black Americans. It's almost like everything in this law book, everything in this society, as far as standards, everything is built to make sure you're at the bottom from the beauty standards to the, the law, everything, education, everything is built for you to be a permanent underclass. Now that's easy to say when you were talking about when you, you know, there's another people here and they're doing stuff to you. But at some point you got to realize either you believe black people. And I say this all the time. You have to believe black people are completely incompetent and incapable of leading. Or there's something spiritual there where things are being guided to go a certain way. That's all I'm saying. Either they are, either black people are incompetent and incapable of getting out of their trouble or something is uh going as planned. Something is going as planned. Yeah, definitely. Kevin J. Cochran made remarks in a speech at a state labor department event. A former Atlanta fire chief who stirred debate with uh, his homophobic view a decade ago in back of the spotlight is back in the spotlight this week after a speech in which he said he, it was God's divine plan that allowed Africans to be brought to America as slaves. Not all of us were slaves. I get tired of that. You know, I used to listen. Not to all people. black people were brought here as slaves. I used to listen to certain people and they would say, they would always say what you just said. Not all black people. And I would just think that's not important. That's how I used to think. Now I think like there's a bigger story as to how this came about. This country wasn't just, you were a slave and they own you. (laughs) You weren't just a slave. You were a part of the foundation in every way possible. When you think about everything in this country, you and your lineage and your, your ancestors had something to do with building it. At every level, not just in building the economy through slavery. During Black History Month celebration Monday hosted by the Georgia Department of Labor, Kevin J. Cochran, who is black, um, we can see, took to the podium to explain how his religious views can conform to the history of the country's founding. In the unlisted YouTube video, Cochran starts his patriotic speech saying that America has been a part of God's divine plan from the beginning of time. Then midway into his remark, he discusses slavery, alluding that everything in American history is part of his story. Now, I remember when um, some black people, for some reason, when they go deep into the American form of Christianity, they become super patriotic to America because American patriot, well, yeah, American patriotism and Christianity are tied at the hip. Now, they say <laughs> that there's supposed to be a separation of the church and the state, as we saw, um, what's his name? Eric Adams is against that. Yeah, Eric Adams. There's supposed to be a yeah, separation boy. of church and state, but we know it's not. Because anybody who's super patriotic typically believes that they deserve to be number one talk about America because it's God's plan. These people believe that America was able to win wars, enslave people, completely do all these atrocities across the planet because God wanted it to happen and he was giving them favor. Now that now they see this shit is falling apart and they say, oh, we don't have God's favor no more. Well, it tells you people who do wrong typically don't get judgment on the planet. At least the people who are not chosen. 
The people who are not chosen and do wicked, they could do wicked until they're 100 years old. But the people who do wicked and are chosen, they die typically around 40, <laughs> 30, you know, 25 is amazing to get past well, that. Well, sometimes the most high takes you before you do something that you yeah. can't be saved from. That too, probably. That's why it's a negative thing to say about these people that are locked up, like the dude who was locked up when he was 18 and he served 18 years and he got out when he was 35. Maybe he was being preserved. I, I thought about that he too. Didn't know that. I thought about that too. A lot of these people are being preserved. But they're see, getting out at, in the, in these last days when they're needed to be out here. So, but see, when you think on that level, a lot of people don't think like that. It's yeah, just, they say you a coon for saying some shit like exactly. that. Exactly. They don't understand what you're saying. Is there's a you you can't live in this world strictly on the on just the physical. You have to understand that there's more to it. And I'll just leave it at that because we're not gonna go too deep into this. But there's more into there's more to it. What's going on? <laughs> it's a lot deeper. But yeah, he went into this, and like I said, a lot of these black Christians, or Christians in general in America, the evangelicals especially, they are super patriotic to America. They believe America can do no wrong. And especially the evangelical Christian Zionists, <laughs> they are super pro-Israel because they believe that if it's in the scriptures to tell you who do good for Israel, who will done good be done for them. So they think if they do good for Israel, millions of dollars a year, if they're doing with the Palestinians, they'll be blessed. By what, what they believe is the God, God of Israel, but we know that ain't how that usually go when you ain't the real people. <laughs> I mean, how long have people been saying peace in the Middle East? People have been saying peace in the Middle East since they got there. There is no peace. Peace in the Middle East. Peace in the Middle East. That land is restored and put back into order. Then yeah. there will be peace. Exactly. Right now it's being downtrodden by the Gentiles. <laughs> Thank you.